never get in trouble playing in the sand, can you? No. Uh, when is sand not really sand? When you're a friend of a science teacher, <laughs> then it's completely different. Isn't it? Truth. Now this looks like sand. It looks like absolutely ordinary sand. This is this red sand. It even has uh, little particles that go up like sand. sand it looks dust. like it, but it is not regular sand. So I'll show you. You have uh, some blue sand here, and I have the red sand. Let's show them the difference. Um, well, they're different in colors, but we'll show them what happens right. with the water. All right. Okay. So pick up your container there that has some okay. water in it. And I'll pour some water in mine. This is what they call hydrophobic sand, which just means water-fearing sand. So believe it or not, it doesn't behave behave the same way. If you normally get sand wet, it gets all clumpy. Right. Watch what happens. Let's pour this in and show everybody. Me too? Yeah, go ahead. Just start pouring some okay. sand in. All right. So, so you see what happens. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, it rests heaven's on the bottom sakes. first. Isn't that great? Let me turn my there hand here go. so you can you actually see this. Yeah, oh, for heaven's sake! look amazing. at that, will There you? it is. Got it. All right, so there it is. So there's your sand. You Now you think you've ruined the sand, but you right. haven't. All right, so now put the sand down. Okay. Grab the empty cup right over there. Okay. And now we're going to do this little pouring action. So watch what happens when you pour it out. When you pour it out, the sand becomes perfectly dry. So if you look at it very carefully, the sand is perfectly dry. If you move it back and forth, oh, for and heaven's now sakes. you finish out with perfectly dry sand. So there's the sand there. We pour the water off. So the water does, doesn't penetrate it at all. Not it's at just all. As, as when it came out of the glass so initially. Our, yep. So here's our sand here. It looks like dry sand. Isn't, Isn't it just amazing? that amazing? So hydrophobic it's sand. Hydrophobic. So if you think of it this way, watch this. You can kind of see it demonstrated in a different way. I've taken some of the sand here and you just sprinkle it here on the top. So you get just a little bit that's here on the top. Now take your finger and just lightly poke it down in the middle and pull back. Hydrophobic means water fearing. There it is. So pull it back out. See how it just sits there? Oh, for so heaven's completely sakes. dry when you pull it out. Now if you spin it around a little bit, go ahead and put your finger in, kind of spin it around a little bit. You'll see that some of it sinks. We can even try it here in the middle. The sand has been coated with a special Scotch guard like material. So if you think of when you go out, it's why you don't ski in jeans, right? You just water soaks through. <laughs> right. So uh, in this particular material here, the sand is coated oh with gosh. this. Isn't that just amazing? Isn't so you can that build. incredible? So the sand is coated with this special material that uh, allows it to be hydrophobic. So you can do sculptures underwater and go. then Would pour the pour the water off. Yep, you got it. So there it is. We're playing That's with too it this cool. way. And now you're just going to reach in here and you can actually pull out <gasps> dry, dry sand. sand. Now it's something the Egyptians used to do thousands of years ago as a magic trick. They used to be able to to pull out dry sand.